Okay, next phase is uh, driver execution environment. Uh, so after finalizing our uh, memory initialization, processor, processor initialization, chipset initialization, we're going to um, we're going to P to Dixie phase. So Dixie phase is described in um, PI specification volume two. Um, and uh, we finally have memory initialized. We can start uh, some device initialization, more sophisticated stuff, PCI enumeration, this kind of things. Um, and uh, driver execution environment phase provides common interface for all drivers. So we know that this interface from, from, from the picture, um, we see that this phase is responsible for creation UFI interface, which is which uh, UFI interface is a main topic of the UFI specification. Um, okay, so so because we have um, common interface for loading drivers, uh, we have something exactly the same as in PI. So we have Dixie Dispatcher, which loads all those drivers, make sure that those are executed in correct order, and yeah. Um, so the difference is just uh, between PI and Dixie that we have full address space in DRAM and, and way more services. And, and, and we have a goal of producing a UFI interface using all those um, autos drivers. So typically entry point function to Dixie uh, drivers take uh, uh, file handle and, and system table. The, the naming is also a little bit different. Uh, the, 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 we, have, we have other components. So instead of PI foundation, we have Dixie foundation, PI dispatcher, Dixie dispatcher, but then we don't have PI modules, but we have Dixie drivers and uh, not Dixie modules. Um, and there are some Dixie architectural protocols instead of P PPIs uh, or PAIM to PAIM interfaces. How Dixie protocols are defined. Um, so you can see uh, on top of hardware, uh, a lot of various protocols. Th those protocols change often um, in UFI specification. So this diagram may be different from what is available uh, right now in the spec, but, and I don't want to go into much details here. Uh, what is important here is um, what, uh, what kind of like, examples of uh, protocols we have. So uh, so we have real-time uh, clock uh, protocol, we have status code protocol, which is related to postcodes, uh, monotonic counter, which we talk that runtime services use that. There is a variable write protocol, which is related to um, ability of uh, writing um, various variables from the operating system like um, um, like boot order or, or some, some options like uh, maybe secure boot related variables. Um, there are some BDS uh, protocols which are related to, to next phase of booting, boot device selection phase. Um, there are some CPU related, security related protocols. So um, yeah, this may change from, from time to time. On the top, you can see also hob list and how hob list typically look like. There is PHIT hob, which is just a dummy hob that's saying that's beginning of the hob list. And then there are there is linked list of uh, of hobs. And as we said, that what's inside the hob is not uh, not precisely defined. Um, the, the format of data is not defined. There is just a rough structure there. And, and exact content is up to the uh, up to the implementation. Okay, what what are the Dixie services? Uh, what 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 services uh, Dixie uh, can use? So first of all, the, there is task priority management. There is uh, memory related stuff like memory allocation services. Uh, there are uh, services related with retrieving memory map. We have asynchronous events um, and, and timers, uh, protocol man management services, so this installation of various APIs on handles, image services, which include um, security verification. So for example, we can check uh, if the 
um, if the executable that we're loading is um, correctly um, is, is correctly signed and so on. And there are driver management services, which means registering and un unregistering uh, device drivers. And during this phase um, for x86 uh, architecture, um, we're doing um, some most important initialization of the devices. So I would say in PI, we, we take more about um, core features like memory, uh, CPU, chipset. And now we should have uh, those those key, key core components initialized. And now we can go through the buses and find devices and load the drivers for those devices if we have those and if there is need for um, exposing those for further phases. Um, so PCI enumeration, for example, happen in this stage. Um, as a system management mode initialization and system management mode initial pro pro program loader um, is, is executed which loads um, SMM core functionality, which is like a main support for system management mode. Um, and um, yeah, so from that point, uh, SMIs could be, could be generated and, uh, and of course code, which is stored in SMRAM uh, can be reached and, and executed. In this phase, also at the end of this phase, there is SMRAM locking and all the security mechanism is are applied uh, at the end of this phase although it may change uh, depending on the implementation in this phase typically msr configuration happen um, this is model specific this is like hardware specific situation but also system management management mo uh, mode uh, range registers and memory type range registers which are responsible for um, memory management and caching of um, of system management uh, memory and, and other memory regions. This is done in, in Dixie phase uh, uh, close, to the, close to the end of it.